all right what's up so i'm gonna show you guys how to make a simple q beats uh melody you know what i'm saying this is an example of a simple q beats melody but yeah we're gonna keep it simple i'll do it right now i'll do it right here this is 20 omnispheres i think i'm doing it Yo, my PC actually handled that joy. Wait. And the melody sounded fire. Somebody, oh, he needs some milk. No, I'm playing. All right, let me stop playing with y'all. Bro, now my FL won't close, bro. What the? Oh, okay. My fault, my fault. That was probably mad loud. Oh yeah, shout out dude Clay. He hooked me up with my wallpaper. All right, so nah, no, 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 no. Look, look, look. Look. <laughs> So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to make some dope melodies, whether it's Q beats, Frank Dukes, whatever, whatever. We're gonna stick around Q beats cause I haven't really done my research on Frank Dukes. Obviously I know about them, but uh, I'm gonna open a couple Omnispheres. Show you guys what, how I would make Q beats type melodies or just sick melodies in general. It doesn't even have to be Q beats, but you guys requested Q beats. So I'm gonna show y'all what's good. All right, so I have a few sounds that I pre-selected. I was just going through sounds. Q Beats surprisingly has like a huge variety of sound. Like, I don't know, their sound is crazy. Look, not my whole PC running weird. Why did I do that? If you don't have this VST, go get it. It's free. It's called Unstable. It's literally a detuner. So if you don't have anything for detune, either get Isotope Vinyl or Unstable. All right, so let's get to the melody. All right, so now what we're gonna do, kind of make it sound a little bit different. We're gonna like, we're gonna change the velocities of uh, just the notes in general, so that way it doesn't have like such a, so it doesn't have such a generic feel. And then we're gonna pitch it down a little bit. A cool thing you can do, bro. I'll be right back real quick, bro. Hey man, shut the f Let me save this before it crashes. I sure just played 20 Omnispheres. Q. Oh, pause. No, I meant like, no, I meant. No, I just meant like Q beats. Like, you know what I meant. I'm gonna try this out. I don't know what it is. We're gonna try a gross beat pitch shifting. If that doesn't sound cool, then. I don't mess with that. And then, so let's move on to this lead pad thing.
So yeah, a lot of it is just experimenting, honestly. Uh, honestly, effects are just as important as sound selection. So if you know what you're doing with effects, then you're already like one step ahead. Just try to keep it mad simple, mess, mess around a bit. Like if you make something you like, melody wise, don't let that be the end of it. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to the master and then we're gonna record this in Edison. All right, so now we're gonna stretch it to eight bars. I didn't really find anything like super cool that I was messing with, so this is what we're gonna do. <gasps> we're gonna open up another plugin called Spl Spl called Slice X. Yo, I got a burp, but it won't come out. All right, look. So we're gonna drag the sample in there. This looks mad confusing, so I can understand if you don't want to use Slice X. Just uh, click this like flag button thing, and then go to um, Auto Slice medium goods grid slicing and then bada boom bada bing it's organized for you now what you gotta do is go to this wrench go to perfect all regions and then just mess with it in here and you can chop your own loop once you have kind of something chopped up that you like what you can do is mess around with like the little pitch thing pitch slider on the right this is the pitch slider which also sounds dope. So that's pretty cool. What I would do though, is I'm gonna cut it off at some points. So, pop. All right, so now let's see. Okay, no, I don't wanna record. All right, so now we're gonna go here, go to half and Honestly, after this, because this is a pretty dry, like, flip, I would either clone this and add it, add it to a different mixer track and then just so it doesn't have the, the delay coming in and then I would flip more stuff. Okay, honestly, I think what we're gonna do, ooh, 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 I think we're gonna record it like that. We're gonna like record this and manually do the automation for the time stretch. So this can take a few tries, but I mean, just do it till you're satisfied. If you do things like this, I do stuff like this all the time. I think it's, I think it's dope and it's like a cool way to just be different. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little flute action. It's gonna be a trash flute because I don't have any cool flute plugins. If you guys have any, let me know. All right, I do know there's one flute. It's called Enchanted. We're just gonna look for it. Bro, my Omnisphere, I'm, I'm about to. I'm about to beat y'all ears up because I'm mad. Okay, like I said, trash flute sound, but like the pattern isn't that bad. So like, just imagine that the that the flute sounded cool. You know what I'm saying? I do this for everything, bro. And then honestly, I think a cool texture can finish this off. Okay, so we're gonna record this again. They're either gods or they just spend forever on their melodies. So, cause this is taking me a little bit, no cap. So there you have it. 
that's like my process it doesn't really matter how long it takes for you to do it like as long as you're having fun and you get something cool interesting that you like then who's mad like nobody can be mad so it's really about creativity sound selection is definitely a thing and you need to be you need to be in tune with your effects like you need to know about all of the effects just constantly look at effects effects are just as important as sound selection in fact it can make a basic trash sound sound beautiful or sound crazy so really get into effects i just highly suggest that uh let me know if you guys want me to make a kit with um loops like this in it and it will also have the midis for them so that way you can understand like the simplicity of the midi and how it got flipped and you can then just if you want to use it you can but it's mainly for like learning purposes appreciate you guys for tuning in if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you're not new to the channel turn on notifications if you are new subscribe and turn on notifications so that way you know when i'm posting and yeah hopefully you guys learned something hope you guys enjoyed take care